update y'all. <laughs> My grandson's birthday is today. So I'm just going to try to be as natural as possible. But I got some things I got to do. So my camera might not be all that great today, but we're going to do the best we can. And then if it goes out, then I am going to um, give the finished product at the end. Okay? Okay. So right now, so this is what's on my mind. Okay, so I am going to the birthday party. And... Uh, I haven't seen my lifelong friend in so long. I think the last time I saw her was like five years ago. Sorry, sorry. I see her on Facebook all the time. And we grew up together in everything, okay? <laughs> everything. Whatever. 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 Okay, so. I love my, my best friend. But I got a story today. And the story go like this. Me and this girl, we planned our whole lives to be family members. And we didn't, we actually kind of, well, not me. I mean, not her. She, I gave up on it because I didn't think... I didn't think my art kids was going to really get together, you know? I didn't think they were going to stay together. If they did get together, and make no kids. Nothing like that. Well, guess what? Now we're family members. <laughs> this girl used to do the most to me as kids, though. And, you know, I'm a, I'm, I was a little pushover. Still kind of sort of in the way the same. I can't change it. No matter how much I try, I try, and I try, and I try. It just don't work for me. This is the way I put my makeup on, so y'all have to deal with it. Because that's the way I do things, and everybody got their way, and I got mine. So that's the way we're going to do it. So, I got all these laugh lines, and then I got um, Mia Lago. And I, I just wanted to look nice for my grandson. He he wanted me to go. It's been a while since I've been to any of his little birthday things. And uh, i just been sick a lot. And, you know, i just been going through a lot. And dealing with my own demons. You know. Everybody got their own demons they got to deal with. And then I'm getting ready. I'm preparing for my transition from being the poor little rich girl to being stable for the rest of my life. <laughs> People don't understand because... Um, a lot of people don't understand because I am I have been very, very private about particular stuff. And God actually made it easy for me to stay a little quiet. I'm not 100% quiet, but I'm quiet. People that know something is going on, they know. People that don't know, don't know. Scratching their heads, trying to figure it out. But I give tidbits of shit because God really don't want me talking, talking. Because a lot of people like to put monkey wrenches and stuff. Even with the little bit that I do tell, man, look, it's ridiculous, y'all. People are ridiculous. They are. They want to hate on what they're going to hate on when they don't even know the magnitude of this change that I'm going through. Finances is changing, everything is changing, and I'm stuck like in a super gray area. And it's like the biggest struggle transition 
I ever had to go through. It's ridiculous, y'all. It is so ridiculous. I am sad sometimes. I'm mad all the time. My kids tell me all the time, Mom, why are you so angry? Oh, if you all could just understand the fuck I'm going through. <laughs> Cause even my kids with the, the knowledge that they do have, they still don't know. And really can't fully support me in in, in because it's been going on for so long that after a while you just be like it's it's either bullshit or I just wait till it happens. So I just say just be careful what you say out your mouth because when the shit do come to pass, everything that you have done from this time forward will either be a blessing to you or you'll be like, damn, I fucked up. Because this transition is a place where I haven't even been before. Been there on the ghetto side of it, but you know how you say, uh, uh, what you say? Uh, I, I, I've been ghetto rich before. Let's put it that way. How you say ghetto fabulous? I guess. I don't know. Oh, whatever. I mean, I've had money all my life. It's not that I, I don't have any money. And I'm, I mean, right now, I'm flat broke. <laughs> I'm just flat. I'm flat broke. <laughs> my businesses are down and stuff is just. But it's temporary. The one thing that you're never supposed to do in life, the one thing you're never supposed to do in life is say you totally broke. Yeah, I'm temporarily out of order. <laughs> I am temporarily out of order. Do you know, I was sitting up, I think it was yesterday? I was sitting up yesterday talking to one of my family members, long distance family members. All my family members are pretty much died out or got too bougie to be around me. So, and since my mom and my grandmother are not here, the matriarchs of the family, me and my sister are like pushed out. So, we don't even exist. We only exist only because that we ran into people or um I don't know I can't even say funerals no more because nobody is together enough anymore in our family to to even give knowledge to anybody passing because I found out a lot of people didn't pass in my family and <laughs> Nobody called me or my sister and told us nothing. See, my mom and my grandmother were the two people that everybody went to, and they were the, they were always keeping up with everything that was going on in the family, especially my grandmother. My mother, no, it's, it was almost like what I'm going through right now. If you if if you see it, fine. If you don't, fine. Whatever, fine. It's whatever. Cause if people really want to be around you, want to want you to be a part of something, they'll definitely go the extra mile to do so. So me trying to fit into somewhere, I, if the puzzle piece, let's put it this way, if the puzzle piece doesn't fit, don't force it. Did I say a lot right there? I think I did. Because a lot of people be trying to make themselves fit in their family, fit in little spots that they, they, they know they don't have no, no business in. Like, y'all don't have no business in some of these places that you go to. Y'all don't have no business trying to fit into a family that don't accept you at all. Like, my my husband's family, oh they pay they played a big front on me. Made me believe that I was just I was all the best thing. 
you know, my brother-in-law, he used to come over and eat dinner with me and my husband and chop it up with us, smoke with us and everything, uh, make all these, you know, conversational plans, because they never came to fruition, because first of all, my husband's not here anymore, you know, and, uh, this is a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. But his family, you know, I found out the truth after my my uh my husband passed by my his family never even accepted me. Period. Do you think that that didn't it didn't hurt my feelings? It hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings real bad because that means you were smiling in my face, all in my my wedding pictures, smiling. Except for my brother-in-law, he didn't show up at all. He said he had to work, couldn't get off that stuff. You know, I was also told, too, that um, that our marriage was, what, wasn't even supposed to happen because we didn't even have the money to get married. But if we wasn't meant to get married, the person that, that um, gave us the money to get married wouldn't even gave it to us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm recent at the Justice of the Peace. A young lady just comes out of, in, out of nowhere. Because I'm crying my eyes out because I'm thinking it's the same amount downtown uh, Cleveland it is, like it is, it is, like it was supposed to be, like I thought it would be at, um, in um, in Cleveland Heights. Because that's where we got married at. We got married in Cleveland Heights at the, at the Justice of the Peace there. So, yeah. So anyway, long story short, my his family played the played a, you know, their little fake game on me, ha ha on me, you know. But um, I'm not mad at them for how they feel, cause that's how they feel. You could have that. What mattered was the love that I had for my husband and my husband had for me. And no matter what was said, because you don't know the whole story or nothing, but what was said, you know, and it don't matter if it was from my husband or out on the street, okay, or from my friends or family members, it don't matter. Because... There was a conversation that I cannot prove we had because he's not here to vouch for it. And I had told him before we even got married that we was going to keep people out of our our marriage situation. And if people get to ask the questions, why this, why that, fabricate some stuff. <laughs> you know, just, just give them what they want to hear. And, yeah, believe me, I would never do that part again when I get married. Hey, mama. Ow. Go back and lay down on the bed. Ow. I'll get you something to drink and eat in a minute, okay? Go lay back down on the bed. So, anyway, she went to work. She'll be back. She'll be back in a little bit. She'll be back. She went to work. You ain't never cried before when she, you knew she was going to work and coming back. Mm. Go lay down, mama. Go lay down. So, anyway, as far as family is concerned, the family is the ones. Family don't have to be blood. Family don't. Family could be people. Family is people that just keep up with you, period. I mean, um, period. I mean, just period. You know, people that support you, love you, you know, have your back when things go wrong. It don't necessarily mean blood. Because blood is not thicker than water when it comes to family. Only people who it doesn't even have to be blood related. I'm gonna tell you what makes blood thicker than water. 
the relationship you have with God. Bam. On period. So, yeah. It's just, that's what it is. That's what it's going to be. That's it. Period. So, right now, I am... Right now, I am... Because I'm trying to do it as natural as possible. That looks natural. Okay, and I'm not doing my eyebrows. That's good. I want to do my eyebrows, but I'm, my stuff... I need to buy some more eyebrow shit. So, yeah. Make sure everything blend in. Because you don't want to be walking around with, you know, your makeup looking cray cray. I like natural looks. I do. Natural looks are better for me. Because in the beginning, I was doing theatrical type stuff. It was driving everybody crazy. It was so dramatic. Dramaticus, oh, get out. This side is always the sword. But it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Yes, sir. Okay. So, yeah, we got that together. Let it dry. So I kind of want to calm it down a little bit. I don't like black, black. So, I don't mind it. It looks kind of okay. Don't look bad. I'm going to put my lip gloss on later and away we go. So, thank you for watching and listening to my bull crap. And also, too, <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Some people like, some people don't. And um, I would love for everybody to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon. Be blessed.